Hello everyone, so this is just a video where I'm at the airport, um, I'm at Manila Airport, I'm getting ready to fly back, um, and what we're doing is a video on the antigen test or the RT-PCR test at the airport. Uh, we haven't really seen many videos on this, I'm sure there might be some, I just haven't seen it. So we just wanted to show you the experience in case you decide that, because to get back in USA, you need to get one or the other. The RT-PCR test, you can actually get the day before, I've seen that on many videos, you can get it the day before, anytime the day before your flight. So once again, if you're flying like I am, late afternoon, you can actually come at any time the day before, and you, or you can get an RT-PCR test anywhere, but we know at the airport it is offered. Terminal two at the Manila airport. The antigen test you can get the day of, and it test results come back within an hour. Uh, they say with the RT-PCR test, it could take up to 24 hours. Therefore, we're gonna do the antigen test. Uh, the antigen test costs about 600 peso. I'm not quite sure about the RT-PCR test. Um, but once again, so I'm choosing to do the antigen test because my flight is at six o'clock today. Um, so once again, you're gonna get the terminal two for this. And I'm just gonna kind of show you the experience and what you need to know to get this done on the day of your flight, if that's what you choose. I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too. Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day you told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay you made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave Okay guys, I just got my test back um, It took over, or all in all, it took about an hour, that's it it was a very simple co uh, process. I think the most difficult thing uh, was the registration because there was a couple questions on there that were just confusing because um, it asks you for an address and there's this information like you, if you don't, if you're staying at a hotel, you got to put the address in the hotel and it asks you what lot. This is all kinds of crazy stuff. But when you get here, they just tell you when it comes to the address to put the address of the airport. It makes it much easier. So if you fill it out, um, if you're filling it out the day before or a couple of days before this document, it's going to ask you to put your hotel information. But once again, if you're doing it at the airport, you're literally just putting the airport information. Um, so all in all, an hour, it was 600 peso. So you're talking in American dollars. Um, so you double that, that's 1200. So it was $12. That was it. Um, very simple. Uh, they stick the Q-tip up you know, a little higher than the RT-PCR test. Uh, tickles your nose a little bit, um, but it was a really simple process. Uh, I showed you where the location is, so you get your results uh, printed to you, and also they hand you or they send you an email. Um, so now we are all ready. We can go check in, um, but that's all set. So, all right, it's all good. Woo! You feel like rain in the morning. Sometimes mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Are you finding a time? All right, 
Alright everyone, um, this is just a quick little video if you're flying out of Manila heading back to USA in this case or in my case I'm flying back to JFK. Um, first off, um, the process was pretty easy but if you're looking at information on the antigen test or RT-PCR test like prior to leaving, we did a separate video on that. Um, please look at Floor's channel um, and follow that. It helps out a lot. Um, I didn't know that information. I'm really nervous. Uh, coming to airports, I wasn't sure what was actually happening, so it was nice to um, figure out how easy that was. But if you're looking for that information, we do have another video on that. This one's just about the flight experience from Manila to JFK. Um, as far as getting at the airport, we got here around 12. As I said, that engine test, hour, hour and 15 minute tops, it was really simple. But once I got done that, we kind of just hung out here at the airport for a while. Now, once I checked, uh, left her, and um, went through security and all that, the first thing, the first thing they're gonna ask you for right away, outside, is they're gonna ask you for your negative, either RT-PCR test, your medical uh, clarification, or yeah, certificate, antigen test, either or, and then they're gonna ask you for your ticket voucher. Uh, they're also gonna ask you for your passport. Once you walk in, they send you to either domestic, or not domestic, I'm sorry, they send you to either business class or economic. So I went to the economic class. Um, you get to a, a second checkpoint, they're gonna ask you for four things. Same three, they're gonna ask you for your passport, they're gonna ask you for a medical uh, certificate, certificate, they're gonna ask you for your Philippines airline, and the other thing they're gonna ask you for is your vaccination card, if you are vaccinated or not. Um, once you get done that one, you then go to another line. You don't wait long at all. Uh, that line sends you to a place where they're gonna check your check-in bag. Um, so they have you open it up. Some people I saw, they were actually going through the bag. For mine, I opened it up. The guy took some little thing over it, shut it, it was a matter of three to five seconds. Didn't look at anything. Um, and then they sent me to the counter where I actually got my ticket. So what they asked for there, once again, they ask for this proof of your ticket, your ticket. They ask you for a medical certificate, and they ask you for your passport. They did not ask for the vaccine vaccine card. Um, they also ask in your check-in bag if you have anything in there that shouldn't be brought on the plane, like anything explosive or anything like that, or anything like that might break. Same with your um, with your carry-on. They ask you for stuff like that. Um, you have to bring batteries in your carry-on. You can't leave them in the luggage to check in. Outside of that, it was a very simple process. You then move on to security, where you go through a metal detector there. Um, that was a matter of seconds. Um, there was really no one in line there. All in all, the whole process, right now I'm back here waiting for my plane that leaves at around six o'clock tonight. Um, all in all, the whole process probably took 30 minutes, 40 tops, very simple process. So my whole time at the airport now, like I said, I got here around, around noon. The first thing with the with the antigen chest uh, that took about an hour, hour and a half at most. I would say closer to an hour. And getting from the time I was out front of the airport to back here, just waiting for my plane, took about a half hour. So all in all, hour and a half, hour and forty five minutes, not long at all. JFK, two two and a half hours. That took forever. But flying back has been simple so far. Hope this is all helping. Um, yeah. So I hope this helps you guys. Please help floor out, expire their, their, um, subscribe to her channel. Um, she really appreciates this. I do this a lot just to help her out as well. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. She's got many of them coming out. Thank you. Hey guys, we're still here waiting at uh, Manila Airport for a ride to go back to JFK. This is my new friend I've kind of been talking the whole time, Sherwin. What up, you guys what up? <laughs> um, Yeah, we, we both talked about how we got here super early, thinking it said four hours beforehand. Um, we basically just been waiting. It took, what, 30 minutes? 20, 30 minutes to get through everything, Yeah. like yeah. I said before. So we just been chilling here, um, waiting for things to get on. Um, still got a little time until we get on the plane. Walking 
to the plane right now. Time for me to leave the Philippines for this time. I uh, hope to be back in June. All right, so I just got here at JFK Airport. Um, the plane got in kind of late at night, so it's like 11, 11.15 or so. Uh, we were the only plane coming into this terminal, Terminal 1, for the Philippines airline. Um, it was a pretty quick process once you got off the plane. There was a line to get through customs. Um, however, if you're a USA citizen, you can download an app called Mobile Passport Center app. It's a free app. If you download that app, there's a couple questions that you fill out. You scan your passport, uh, you take a, a photo. Um, there's a couple questions they ask you about COVID and all that, where you've been. Uh, but once you get that app done, which took about three minutes to do at most, um, once you finish that app, you upload it, it gives you a QR code, and then they take you out of that line, you put in another line, it's pretty quick. Um, and they basically just scan your QR code, uh, and they ask for your passport, and that was it. You're through customs, uh, then it's on to get in your luggage, and once you get your luggage, you're on your way. So it's a really quick process, the whole thing, three to five minutes at most. Uh, so much quicker than I was anticipating. So I hope this helps.